In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how you can configure an RDS MySQL instance for connecting to Zeit's Now service or any other kind of Lambda function. So the first step is you need to go to AWS's console and you should search for RDS. Now we want to be able to create a new database. So there's a button there that says create a database. We can click on MySQL. We can leave the version where it's at and we want to select free tier. And so this will auto configure a lot of stuff for us. So we'll be calling the identifier Prisma. This is just a name that we can use and we can provide a, a master username and password. So in this case, I'm gonna use Prisma and the password is Prisma is awesome. But don't tell anyone and definitely don't use that for any kind of real production instance. So you have to provide a, a password and you have to confirm the password. We wanna make sure that we're using a T2 micro so that it's as cheap as possible. Uh, and we can also disable the storage auto scaling. Uh, you might wanna do this if you know that your site is gonna be really popular. Um, we then need to go into the advanced options and make sure that we're making it publicly accessible. From here, we wanna create um, a Prisma MySQL VPC security group call the database name Prisma, um, and then disable the auto backups. And from here, we can just click uh, create a database. And so it'll take a few minutes for this to actually create. And so what we've done then is we've created a database now that would be suitable for a development environment. Of course, some of the things that we are unchecking, such as the auto backups, uh, and the fact that we're only running a single T2 micro instead of uh, multiple instances in different zones wouldn't really be suitable for a production environment, but it will definitely be suitable for kind of developing. So we'll take a couple minutes for this to finish. So once it's finished, uh, we'll know that it's done because the endpoint, instead of having a dash, will actually be filled out with the, the endpoint of your, your database. So we can copy that, and we can paste it into our MySQL program. And so I'm using uh, SQL Pro here, so we can just paste in our host name here. We can then use the, the username and password that we mentioned before. And we can first test that the connection works. So it says it's successful and we can go ahead and connect. So now if we go and look, we can see that there's our Prisma database and everything's good in the world. So one other thing that you might notice is if you went and connected to your database from some other IP address from that's different from where you initially created it, that it actually wouldn't work. And so the reason why is because the, the security group is set so that it will only allow your IP address uh, to be able to connect. And so if we can go to the VPC security groups, we can go to the inbound connections and we'll see that there's a, our IP addresses right there. So we can then add a rule um, using the 3306 port range. And we can just, instead of saying my IP, we can say anywhere. And so now it will open up this database to anywhere in the world. And so this is what you need if you want to be able to connect to it from Zeit's now service. And so a critical aspect of this then is that you need to choose a password that's extremely strong because anyone that has your username and password will be able to connect. And so ideally you'd be able to set your security group so that you're only whitelisting a certain IP range that let's say Zeit's now service provides, but unfortunately that's not a feature that's allowed right now. So for the time being, you just have to make sure that your password is super secure. You never commit it to GitHub or anything like that.